Working remotely is awesome and it is all the rage. However, it can be really concerning when it comes to how do you build relationships inside your company? Because let's face it, all opportunities in life come from people and those who've established a really good network and have built a reputation and a brand with their coworkers tend to be the ones who get the promotion. I have a friend whose son was recently passed over for a promotion that had been promised to him. But during the pandemic, he decided to move his family to their vacation home because everyone in the company was working remotely and the bosses said, that is totally cool. You are welcome to work remotely from now until forever. And a year later, the time for the promotion came along and the promotion went to somebody else. When he asked his boss, what happened? The boss said, well, the person who we gave it to, she actually is in the office every day and you're only here once a month. And therefore, we decided that the person who got the promotion really needed to be here. Now, my friend's son was like, wait a second, you said we could work remotely. And the company said it, and they meant it. But when it came time for the promotion, the person who physically was there in the office was the person who got the job. So if you're working remotely and you're concerned about, what, what does this mean for my future? How do I build relationships on the team? Or... If you're a boss and you're managing a totally dis dispersed team, these are some things that you have to think about because remote work is here to stay, but that network of people inside a company, the internal networking still is going to be what leads you to the next promotion and what's going to lead you to promote the person if you're the one choosing who gets the job. So let's look at three really quick tips in order to cultivate those internal relationships. Number one, you have to take ownership for reaching out to your coworkers. You know, if you have a weekly call or whatever, maybe you're working on a project, those work-related calls are important. However, relationships at the office, if you were both physically there, usually aren't just going in and trading a file. Those relationships are around the conversations that you have by the water cooler or people who decide to go to lunch together. So if you're concerned with building relationships inside your company, while you're working remotely, the trick is you have to take the time to invest in the people who you work with. Therefore, call them from time to time, schedule one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls, and make sure that you're staying top of mind and you're going deeper than just the project that you're working on. Take an interest in who they are as a person and get to know them and let them know that you care because people will care more about you when they know you're interested in them. So that's the first tip. The second tip, when you get together physically in person, because most companies will still have a quarterly or twice a year or once a year meeting, make sure that those experiences that you have with coworkers become shared experiences that have meaning. Just going to the meeting, sitting in the back, listening, nodding your head is great. However, you want to make sure that you're actually involved and engaged. And if people are going out to dinner, make sure that you participate. Have some fun, invest in those people, and make sure that those times that you're together, you're bringing joy to the people around you. And when I say joy, let's look at it this way. We all have been around people who, when we're around them, it sort of fills our tank. We're excited to be around them. They, they make it better. And we've also been around people who are draining. Don't be the person who brings everybody down or is too serious. Be that person who people want to be around. When you're physically together in the same room, be a person who uplifts the crowd rather than a person who drags everybody down. And that leads me to the third tip, which is whether you're virtual or in person, don't ever badmouth other people in the company. Don't allow yourself to be the person who gets sucked into that conversation where you're badmouthing the boss or putting down one of your coworkers. Don't gossip about people. If conversations start to go south, either move yourself out from the conversation or let people know that, hey, I don't want to go down this road. Because if you're the person who's always saying, hey, did you hear about Becky? Or you're the person who's really tearing down what the boss did and didn't like their last decision, it gets back to the people who make the decisions. and People aren't going to promote you. And working remotely, your reputation and your brand and what people think about you, it's harder to control. So remote work is here to stay. You have to work twice as hard to control your reputation so that you're not going to be the person who is out of sight and out of mind. And you're also not going to be the person that people pass over for the opportunity at hand. 
You need to control that reputation if you want to make sure that success is in your future and that you feel that you're part of the team. So I'm all about remote work, but it means you have to work harder to build your reputation and the friendships that happen inside the company. Gallup has actually done research. People who have really good friends, best friends at work, tend to stay longer in a company, work harder, and are more fulfilled in their jobs. So therefore, if you're working remotely, you have to be thinking about, am I cultivating real legitimate friendships, real relationships with my coworkers? Because if you don't have those, you're going to be distant, you're going to be on the outside, and you're going to be frustrated. And if you're the one managing the team, you want those people to gel together very well. So make sure that you're encouraging everybody to share experiences, build relationships, take an interest in each other, and just make the workplace more fun, whether it's in person or whether it's via some sort of video or Zoom or conference calls. Hey, my name's Tom Singer. Thanks for coming along and watching some of these videos. Do me a favor, subscribe. Click that little subscribe button on YouTube. Make me really happy if you did. And if you have any questions on how to build your network or how to get your team more engaged and build trust and accountability, look for me at tom at tomsinger.com. That's my email. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks a lot.